Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as our Sith Marauder, Asera. We're on our way now to assault a Balmoran arms factory, where Commander Rylon, who is the undercover agent for Darth Barris, is held up. Darth Barris wants us to not only silence Commander Rylon, but his elite squad, who's meant to be helping the resistance in a hardy way. So we're getting ourselves over to the Sundari Imperial Outpost, and then from there, we'll travel north to gain access to the arms factory. We're going to have to fight a fair few um, people on the way, but we'd normally have to do that anyway if we were doing the side missions, so that's absolutely fine. Give me a little time to warm up to how to play a Sith Warrior again. I still am a little bit rusty on how to use my skills. Say so level 24, we gain a new passive ability. Increases the critical strike damage of your bleed effects by 5%. Okay. That's at level 24. We need another 50,000 experience to get to level 23. And at the moment we're going to get 82,000 just for completing this mission. Good. So yeah, here's the uh, front lines of the arms factory. A lot of anti-aircraft guns. There's a lot of stationary turrets underneath them as well to prevent any uh, basically land assault. And obviously there's a lot of resistance members preventing the, preventing the Imperials from pushing forwards. But we're just going to ignore them all, unless we have no choice. And we'll just push through their lines. smaller Imperial outpost. There you go. Uh, welcome to the entrance of the arms factory. There is like a landing pad here, which normally you'd have to destroy some ships for, but as I say, we're not doing the side missions. We're just going to get ourselves into the factory and begin our search for Commander Rylon. scavenging to um, actually scavenge the droids unfortunately this place is immense something tells me we're gonna be here for a while you'd think that and normally you'd be right but actually no Nice work, Vat. Oh, 
Oh, hi. They shouldn't increase our movement speed slightly. So, making a quick work of this uh, arms factory so far, up to level 2. Outside to another um, landing bay. Just need to cut across to get into the administrative building. Factory is under attack. Headquarters has been breached and casualties are severe. Keep your wits, Captain. What do we know of the enemy? Target is carving a bloody path in this direction. Unconfirmed reports suggest it's Sith. Mm -hmm. Consider them confirmed. Commander, contact confirmed. The enemy is Sith. Repeat, the enemy is... I can see that, Captain. Shut up. <laughs> Sith, I know why you're here. Be aware that these are the finest troops I've commanded in all my decades of duty. I'll take pride in slaughtering them. Captain Ellerton, engage at will and hold the line. I'm coming with reinforcements. Right on out. You're about to find out what we're made of. You're made of bones that break and blood that spills. You don't intimidate us. We've killed your kind before. You've never even seen my kind before. You're about to find out otherwise. Men, attack! Black Battalion. You didn't really last too long, but I give you praise for the effort nonetheless. The Commander. He should have been here by now. It wouldn't have made a difference. This means he's safe. That's all that matters. Please, enough of this. Commander, no. Run! Save yourself! 
Just put him out of his misery, Sith. I think it would be so much more poignant if you pull the trigger. Commander, what... what does this mean? Goodbye, Captain. No. I... can't believe... It's unfortunate they were on the wrong side. They were excellent soldiers and exceptional men. I've never fought a tougher fight. This is a bittersweet day. I serve for the glory of the Empire, but the life of a spy is a slippery one. In essence, I had to become a Republic soldier, and I've done things against the Empire that have sickened me. At least your pain ends today. Before I embrace my end, there is one thing I must know. My son. He was the only thing in the world that was truly mine. And in love or weakness, I told him my secrets. I, I know you had to cover my tracks, but please tell me, did he face his fate well? Better if I spare you the details. I feared as much. Thank you for being delicate. When they find my corpse, there must be evidence of a valiant fight. We must make this look convincing, Sith. So I will not hold back. I will fight you as though you are my mortal enemy. I'd have it no other way. Then arm yourself. Tell Lord Barris it has been my great honor to serve him. Here we go. Well, he set me on fire. That's certainly a thing. Goodbye. Soren apparently knows I finished the job. My lord, I believe we've got trouble. I heard your entire conversation with Commander Rydor. Oh, bugger. How could you hear my conversation? Have you been spying on me, Imperial? No, my lord, as I told you. I've been surveilling the Jedi Investigator. Apparently she bugged Rylor's quarters, and as she listened in on your conversation, I heard what she heard. The Investigator knows everything, my lord. Great. Where is she now? She was heading to her ship. But I had my men move in and cut her off from the Republic landing bay. I am systematically blocking her avenues of transmission and escape. Herding that Republic scum to her only hope. The spaceport at Sobrik. I will be there soon. I'm afraid there's more, my lord. My men who engaged her report that she's wielding a lightsaber. It seems this investigator is a Jedi Knight. I advise caution when facing her. Killing Jedi is old hat for me. Then my concern is unfounded. My apologies. I will gather my remaining men and meet you at the spaceport. We will crush this Jedi. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually true. In this storyline, at least. I don't think we've actually encountered a Jedi yet. A lot of Sith. We've had a few Sith who've tried to kill me. Uh, we may as well, actually. Travel, going, my lord? travel to Sobrek City to rush to intercept the Jedi Knight. Oh, there you go. It's taking its time and loading the speeder. How's it going, my lord? Yeah. Sorry about being a bit quiet there. I was trying to stifle, uh, stifle the sneeze all the way through that um, speeder journey. Ah. There we are. Hmm? 
are too late, Sif. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Nomen Kar has his proof. Now Master Kar and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. I'll let you enjoy your delusions. Enjoyment is not part of the equation. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. How incredibly boring. Living an enlightened life is anything but boring. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. I offer you the chance to surrender and live, Jedi. Surrender is not possible. I am in the right. I won't kill you, Sith, but I am leaving. So, I'm going to have to incapacitate you. Oh. And how it ends, with you on your knees. Your victory means nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace, knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm reveling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. <laughs> Quinn, I could kiss you. I'm only doing my job, my lord. I had her monitored and screened the entire time. There was never any risk at all. Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Kar and his Padawan will still defeat you. Tell me the name of Noman Kar's Padawan. I will never betray her identity. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. I will savor your destruction. There is no death. There is the Force. How bizarre. She just closed her eyes and accepted death. Sheer idiocy. No matter. The threat is ended. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I will be there soon. Excellent. I'll go prepare. I'll be waiting in my barracks. Well, as long as we've got anything bad to do, we may as well have went along with him. But no, let's go pop back to um, Quinn's barracks and let Darth Barris know the situation. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi investigator has been stopped. Quinn killed her transmission, and I killed her. Your carelessness created a crisis. But since you quelled it, we can move on. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi. But our hand was forced. 
What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? Lieutenant Quinn is an exceptional officer. I couldn't have done it without him. High praise indeed. Quinn, I believe you have sufficiently repaid the debt owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. The honor has been mine, Captain. Until we meet again, I salute you, my lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. If given the opportunity, he will excel. By the way, it's not worth worrying about. Quinn's affairs are a speck compared to what we face. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next exercise in domination and destruction? It would seem so, that. Well, I hope the next place we end up has a beach. No, our next place most certainly does not have a beach, unfortunately for you, Vet. But there's plenty of places for you to run and hide, if that's what you wish for. How's it going, my lord? Well, let's get ourselves back to the Fury spacecraft and get ourselves away from Balmora. My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. I will always welcome you, Quinn. It pleases me to know that, my lord. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. We share the same desire, Captain. I sense that as well, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. What exactly can you do, Captain? Who cares what he can do? I could use some help around here. I'm considering it, Vet. My lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. Hmm. I would be pleased to have you, Quinn. The pleasure will be mine. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. So we've gained a new air uh, companion, or a temporary one right now, but soon to be made air uh, permanent. I forgot what Quill uh, Quinn is like. I think he may be a DPS healer companion. I normally always keep Vet in my party, but. We might be interested in a change. Let's 
uh, report to Darth Barris now that we've left Balmoran airspace. Apprentice, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. Good. The elimination of Commander Rylon grants security to my spy network, but there is still more to be done. I won't disappoint you. You haven't yet, but every new challenge offers the chance of failure. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. Oh, we unlocked another achievement. We can choose a reward. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Oh no, we get those rewards anyway. We'll take the basic commendations once again. Achievement complete sinister. We are now aligned to the dark side. And if you see, our appearance, or at least our facial, uh, our eyes have changed. This will be a progressive change as time goes on. As we further deepen ourselves into the dark side and its tenants and our activities, the more our appearance will change to reflect that. Interesting. So, where's Vet? Companions. You don't actually. Oh, you have some very basic gloves. You know, you don't have very, a great deal of armor, Vet. Let's have a look at Quinn. He uses cunning equipment. So does Vet actually, doesn't she? She does. Okay. They both wear medium armor and cunning items, but Quinn uses a a blaster pistol and a knife. Or a vibro knife. Okay, okay. It's interesting. So yeah, we can head our way now to Narshadar and deal with Darth Barris's other uh, undercover agent. Ah, looks like Quinn wishes to speak to us. Hey, we may as well have a word, see what he has to say. My lord, I have settled into my quarters and fully acquainted myself with the ship. I am at your disposal. I want you on a persistent state of alert, Captain. I won't disappoint, my lord. I am fully trained in all aspects of operating this vessel. I can navigate and pilot it to perfection. Get to your station, then. Right away, my lord. Excellent. We did learn as well, I don't know much of Quinn's backstory personally, um, so I can't really spoil it for you all, but it seems Darth Barris was, Darth Barris was, was saying a lot of um, high-ranking officials want to see Quinn fail. I wonder why that is. Does Vet want to say anything to us? No? Oh, she's stretching. I thought she was ta um, having a drink. No, she was just stretching there. Uh, we might as well set ourselves back up in the cockpit. And as I say, next time, we will get ourselves over to Narshadar and contact off Barris again once we're just out outside of the moon. I think Narshadar is actually a moon around Hutter. Let's have a look. The so called Smuggler's Moon is best known for one thing. Anything can be bought here if the price is right. Yeah, it actually orbits um, Hutter itself. Interesting. So yeah, this of course has been Anfwolf with more of my um, Sith Warrior, Sith Marauder storyline. I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for more next time as we continue the series. Until then, bye bye now.